This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone, it's Stacy Pearson and I am going to show you today the mechanics of uploading client financials to the eVault Center so the wealth management team can view your client's assets without you having to email those assets. We want to keep them in a secure environment. So here's how you do that. You log in as the advisor. You'll notice next to Living Trust Portfolio, you will have a number representing your clients under this associate ID. And you'll be able to click View here. This brings you to the list of clients that you have under that ID number. And if you have a long list and you're trying to find a particular client, you can optimize by column headings. If we click that, it alphabetizes everything. I'm going to find the client that I'm going to be uploading to. For the first 90 days, you can access through the console link. After 90 days, you'll get a status word here. So today we're going to go into the console. Notice that I'm in my associate console. When I click here, I am in the client's console. So remember, you don't have to get stressed about where to find things. You really only have two tabs that most of your things are going to be in. It's either going to be under data exchange or document storage. So you can just dig around in there and find whatever you need and not stress out about it. Today we're looking for the eVault Center. Here it is under document storage. Click. Think of the eVault Center as a large filing cabinet and these as the drawers. Notice that the drawers are labeled and today we're going to be uploading to the ancillary financial records. So when your client brought you all of their assets, all the paperwork, titles and deeds and statements, you photocopied those and used those to fund the trust. Then you scanned all of those copies and uploaded them to your computer and saved them and you named them asset documents with the client's last name. You also took the eState questionnaire and you uploaded that. You scanned it and uploaded it to your computer and you named it eState questionnaire with your client's last name. Those are the items we're going to be uploading here. So we're going to open this drawer. I already have some things here, but I'm going to show you how to get things in there. Click on Upload Document. And just like attaching a file to an email, we're going to come over here. If you have a PC, it says choose file. And if you have a Macintosh, it says browse. Click the button. It's going to bring you to your computer. And we're going to click the asset documents. And we see the word here so we know that it attached. And we hit upload. That brings us back. And it's there. We're going to upload again, click Upload, Browse or Choose File, click the eState Questionnaire, Upload Document. And those are both here now. So it's pretty easy. And this keeps you from having to email your clients sensitive information. Thank you so much and have a good day.